All right, a couple light bulbs burnt out. Um, so let's take them apart. Take a take take a look. I like to take a look at these because I, I used to be in the business. I used to uh, uh, be in the LED business and uh, work with the fellows that built light bulbs and stuff. I was more focused on the white LEDs, but I also talked to the engineers who built the light bulbs and uh, collaborated with them and stuff. So this one's uh, by Osram. Osram's a very nice uh, LED company. Uh, so they make their own LEDs and they make their own light bulbs. Um, and this one is by Fight. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Fi, F-E-I-T. And they probably buy light bulbs and uh, buy LEDs and build their own light bulbs. So uh, I sort of like the design of this one. It has uh, metal fins here for the heat sinking. This one just has a uh, uh, kind of a plastic uh, around it. This one actually has aluminum. Uh, so this is much, much more robust. I'm assuming these are uh, these are plastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the test. <laughs> is it plastic? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Can we can we actually jar this loose? Wow. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, let me go over to the vise and see if I can't open these up. Wow. All right, those were surprisingly hard to open up. Uh, luckily, these plastics are really, really tough, so you just clamp them in a vise and just squeeze, 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 and they finally pop open. Uh, so they look sort of the same. Uh, they are different. I know they have different fosters in them because they're different colors. Uh, this one is probably a warm white and this is a cooler white. Uh, do they say what the color temperature is? Yeah, this one's 2700 K, which is uh, very warm. And this one, this one, is it marked? Uh, 3000, 3000, yeah. So, uh, what is what are what are these numbers that I've just been saying? Twenty seven hundred and three thousand. Um, if you heat metal up to a particular temperature, it glows. So um, blacksmiths have known this for a long time. If you heat up metal, it goes to a cherry red. You know, different different colors mean different temperatures, and that has to do with Mr. Plunk. Mr. Plunk uh, has a nice formula. That, that gives you the spectral shape for a Planckian uh, radiator, uh, a piece of metal that's really, really hot. So the sun is a Planckian radiator um, and uh, it generates a particular uh, temperature of photons and they're around 5,500 Kelvin. And uh, this one was made to be 2,700 Kelvin, which is kind of mimicking what tungsten is. So tungsten, remember the old, the old, the old light bulbs that had a tungsten filament in them, uh, they were just a piece of metal that got hot and they got hot to about 2,700 degrees Kelvin. And, um, they gave that kind of a warm orangey glow. And so these phosphors, uh, mimic that, not exactly, but they mimic it. They trick your eye into thinking it's 2,700. And this is this one is a little bit cooler in temperature, what they call cooler in temperature. This one's 3,000 degrees, even though it's higher. And uh, anyway, I don't want to get into that. Anyway, this one's 3,000 degrees Kelvin, and this one's 2,700 degrees Kelvin. And I don't know if the camera really picks that up very well, uh, but these are a little oranger and these are a little yellower. Okay, and that means that. Uh, these have a little bit more red phosphor in them. These are probably two phosphor systems. There's a, a green phosphor and a, and a red phosphor. This one has a little bit more red phosphor in it. And this one has a little bit less red phosphor in it. The green phosphor is kind of a yellowy color and the red phosphor is a red color. And that kind of ends up making it look a little bit orangey. Anyway, I know too much about LEDs. Um, but what we have here is much bigger LEDs over here and much smaller LEDs over here. And all the goodness must be underneath. So let's take these screws out and uh, take a peek, take a peek underneath. <laughs> oh. 
All right, here's a little PC board with some heat compound on it. Not much at all, just a tiny bit. Some people say less is more, but this seems like a too small of an amount, in my, my opinion. Um, and the failure point on this one might be this solder connection here. There's a, a board underneath that's soldered to uh, the top board and that came off way too easy. And this one here, it's got wires that are hot melted in place. Oh, there's all kinds of glue on this one. That might be, this one might be a fun one to open up. Let's see. If you can't get it out. Oh dear, this one might be hard to get out. All right, I put a little slot on the side here so I could get my screwdriver underneath it. At least that's the plan. That was the theory. The theory is not working out in principle. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Hang on. Well, I had a bash on this thing for about five minutes. I finally get it, get, got it to come loose though. Uh, so there is more goodness inside. There's a screw here, so let's take that out. Oh my goodness. So I have to hand it to fight. Man, their stuff is tough. <laughs> Definitely tough. So this is just all aluminum. And now there's this little plastic thing here that probably has the PC board in it. And I have to get, <laughs> have to get into that. Ah. All right, let's, let, let's look at this one too. Uh, I think this one has a PC board in it too. So let me do some more damage. Okay, I was able to open this one up <laughs> and it has a little a little circuit board in it. And this guy here, I was able to plop this open and it has a little circuit board in it. And the two circuits are quite, quite different. If I can't pull this one out. Ooh, there we go. All right, wow, that PC board got hot. It's uh, very, very discolored. All right, so let's uh, zoom down here. So this guy has a little transformer and he has this cool little part here. He is a 71YL5W07C. So just a little uh, little converter from AC to AC to DC. So the AC comes in on these wires here. And there's a little bridge rectifier. And then it goes into a little um, DC to DC converter that wax this transformer and create some DC over on this side. And then the PC board sticks through here and solders down. And yeah. So this one seems very straightforward to understand. It's got a 200 volt, 8.2 microfarad capacitor. Uh, so the AC coming in gets rectified as a high voltage. And then, you know, we've gone through this before. This is just a little, uh, boost a uh, uh, buck, buck this is a buck converter it takes the high voltage down to a low converter and then this guy here he's different uh let's see let's pull him out let's, uh, cut the leads on him now i don't like having red and black wires on the input and red and black wires on the output but it is a different shape i suppose it's got some heat shrink hiding the goodness of this one. So let's uh, see if we can't take the heat shrink off. All 
All right, here we go. All right, so the AC comes into this one. And there is a one amp fuse in it. That's interesting. This one's fused. Is this one fused? No. I don't see a fuse on this one. Wow. One amp fuse. Interesting. The other guy's not fused. Hmm. All right. So that was the. Uh, Osram decided they wanted a fuse in theirs. And they have a 250 volt, 22 microfarad, and one chip that does it all. That chip just kind of fell out, too. <laughs> it wasn't soldered in very good. Wow. Yeah, this board got really, really hot. So this might be the failure point. This is a FTL04N60D. So, yeah, I don't know what that does. Hmm. But it was not soldered in there very well at all. So, uh, this seems like maybe a simpler design. You don't have to have a transformer. I'm not sure how, the tra how much the cost difference of these would be, right? Light bulbs are like, what, three bucks each or something? So, yeah, you don't get to spend a lot. Most of the cost is going to be in the LEDs, I would suppose. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, otherwise, like I said, this has about twice as many LEDs. So one, two, three, four. Actually, it's two each. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two on this one. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so like double the amount of LEDs over here. Uh oh. And that's my blood. See that see that red right there? <laughs> that's that's MSI blood. Um anyway. Uh yeah, these things were a beast to open up. And uh I definitely had to do damage on myself and on them to get them open. So yeah, there you go.